Ahoy! How to film story vlog and camera settings. See, I'm lefty. I always end up with dirty hand or smudged text. This is the title of today's video. I've watched some amazing vlogs and I watched some bad ones too, to the point that I started watching, then I never finished watching, just clicked away. A few of the most frequently asked questions I'm getting from you is what are your camera settings? How come nobody's watching my vlog? And how come nobody's subscribing to my channel? And since those questions are popping at me from everywhere, <laughs> I thought it's about a time to help you out. And if you are new here, Welcome, my name is Zdenka Kadarla. If you want to learn how to take better photos and videos with the latest gear and possibly participate in the creative camera challenges, consider subscribing. There are a few things you need to consider when you are planning your next vlog. Unless you are a huge YouTuber with thousands of subscribers and already made that connection with the people, or unless you're planning your vlog, which is gonna be super funny, super entertaining, full of information, a lot of value, or super cinematic, so you're gonna blow them away, or unless you're that someone who's got that charisma that people will instantly fall in love with you, nobody's gonna watch, nobody's gonna care. If you think that you're gonna grab a camera and let them follow you as you're doing your daily chores, no. You gotta give them it. And by grabbing a camera and just filming whatever, it's not it. You gotta think about it as a film, as a movie, which has a story. What I find that works for me is to make some sort of a plan. You don't have to write word by word, step by step, but the main points. So when you look at the plan, you can think from the other side as a viewer, and you can think, what is he or she getting out of this? Let's use one of the last videos I filmed, and that was, can you make it in photography and videography in 2020? That video was filmed in this house, in this room, on this sofa, no special location whatsoever. The video actually received many comments and many likes. It did exceed my expectations, so thank you. There was a mystery, there was a hook. A special package which was shown at the beginning of the video but was not revealed what's inside until the very end. There was a lot of honesty and a lot of personality. This is who I am, I was trying to be just me. <laughs> I was giving out a lot of information, I was trying to help people, I was trying to be as inspirational as possible. I was trying to talk to my audience, to you, like you are sitting right here next to me. <laughs> so. When you are planning your next vlog, plan it what's the best for them, for your audience. Not necessarily what's the best for you. It's time to talk about camera settings. Whenever I'm filming myself talking to the camera, hi, how are you doing? Two numbers will never change. I only change the third number. First of all, I film at 24 frames per second to get the most natural look. And that means that the shutter speed has to double which is 1 50th of a second. Because I want to see myself sharp and the background blurry, I will go with the aperture as low as possible. And this lens, when I have it at the widest, 15 millimeters, allows me to use aperture f3.5. If I am filming outdoors, I will need an ND filter to block the excessive light. My ISO will be 100. The darker it will get outdoors, the less ND filter I will use until I remove it completely and then ISO needs to go up. If it's dark, maybe I might have to go to ISO 200. So when I get indoors, no ND filter needed and my ISO right now is 400. The darker it will get, the ISO will go higher, but also you will have more grain and noise in your footage, which means you need to use a lot more light. You need to add the light to get rid of that noise. 
And this is only when I'm filming myself. If I'm filming B-roll and other things, the aperture value will change depending what focal length I'm using, depending what I want to see. By the way, I made a video how to film in manual mode. I'll post the link in the video description below so you can watch it after this one. Moving on, the actual filming process. Today's people, the viewers on the other side of the camera, don't have patience anymore. You need to grip their attention right away in order for them to keep watching. Let's say I film myself walking and talking, walking and talking. After a while watching, it's gonna get quite boring. But if you add some action shots between, or if you add B-roll on top of the main clip, on top of the talking head, suddenly it's gonna get a little bit more interesting. Let's talk about cinematic sequence, you know, B-roll as everybody calls it. You know, that part of the video, that cinematic sequence, when nobody's talking, you're not talking, you're just showing something really cool and cinematic. How long should it be? How much of it? I've seen some people filming and showing tree branches that after 40 seconds of still looking at different tree branches, I've had enough. So keep it short and sweet. 10 to 20 seconds, maybe different angles, different focal length. So when the eye is looking at it, the eye is not gonna know what's gonna be next. That way it stays very informative, very entertaining. And then move on. Most of the time I've been filming on this Canon M50 but because my schedule is so hectic, always on the go, and sometimes I'm even running out of the time. I've been really enjoying this Insta360 Go last two months. It's been saving me so many times. I just press it whenever I feel like it. I have it on me all the time, and I take those clips, which I can insert in the video or even use it for my social media. It really saved me many times. So my point is, if you do have some action cameras laying around, or even a drone, don't be afraid to use it. It never hurts to have extra footage. It's actually never enough to have extra footage. You just never know what you can use it for. And if you have a few minutes of your time, just upload it to stock and you can make some extra money. Let's talk about music. Music can make or break your video. Whenever I'm making a tutorial in the studio downstairs, I'm kind of using very subtle, kind of like a beat, very easy listening music, which I really, really make sure it's not loud at all. But if I'm shooting something scenic on a location, or if I'm doing even just a vlog outside, like a scenic video, I am extremely picky when it comes to music. Try to choose music so it fits to the video. Here is, for example, a video from the last one with no music. <sighs> so it finally arrived. A package, very special package I've been waiting for for a month and a half, it's been delayed for a month. It came yesterday, I had it sitting on a shelf over there, I didn't dare opening it. And here's the same video with music. <sighs> so it finally arrived, a package very special package I've been waiting for for a month and a half. It's been delayed for a month. It came yesterday. I had it sitting on a shelf over there. I didn't dare opening it. Very, very special package. I've been so waiting for this. It can really change the whole feel of your video. It can set the tone of the video. What I usually do when I'm editing the video, I'm playing it and then I'm choosing different music and I'm trying to throw it there and see if it is in sync, if it works together, if I can see and hear a very strong message or the outcome. 
If for that video I selected a different style of music, like a dance music, it just would not work. And later on, when you're editing, later on in a video, you can select whatever genre you want, you can change the beats, so it really suits it, it fits it, it keeps it entertaining. You know, it's just like a movie, like a film. Filming vlogs, it's a lot of fun, it's up to you to make it fun to watch for your audience. Computer desk, small desk on wheels, shelving system or cabinet on wheels, one light, second light, third light, fourth light, background. Hmm, not so sure about that one. Big changes are coming here. Big changes. Hit the thumbs up button if you like today's video and subscribe to more if you are looking forward to find out what kind of music service I'm using. It is in the video description below. The first one is for free, so feel free to check it out. Also, let me know in a comment section below what is your next vlog gonna be all about? What are you currently working on? What are you currently filming? I will be very curious to find out. Or if you have any other questions or comments or simply want to say hi or ahoy, you can do so there as well. And I will see all of my friends in the next video. Ciao, ahoy.